one of our deceivers once had to flee an erupting volcano. You can tell us who you think it is by voting along in the chat. Let's find out who's telling the truth and who is a chump. Welcome, 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 welcome to Chump, everybody. The Rooster Teeth Game Show, all about lying and deception. I'm your host, Jeremy Dooley, and we are joined today by a group of truly deceptive liars. I didn't know the right word to use there, and I had to come up with it on the spot. Our first liar we have today is Noel Wiggins. What is up? What is up? Thank you. We also have deceiver number two, Maggie Tomini. And finally, for the first time in the deceiver position, Mr. Gavin Free. Ah! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Only two people can God. suss out whether or not they are lying or telling the truth. The first being today's contestant, Mrs. Lindsay Jones. Hello. I was checking the, the chat, Jeremy, please. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have the chat up because this is, of course, yeah. live. Uh, and... Going off of that, you, the audience voting at home, are the other person playing along. You can win, you can lose, uh, just don't lose. How about that? As long as you don't have the least amount of points, you're not gonna lose. And you can make a free account to get in the chat right now and play along. Uh, how you guys doing? Thanks for coming. Thank you. Good. Yeah. yeah. Good. 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 <laughs> I was saying, I'm a little nervous. Uh, this is my first time trying to guess who the liar is. And Noel, I feel like you're good because I, I wish to know more about you. Uh, so you have more to work with. Maggie and Gavin, I know you too. I, I don't yeah, know. I feel like hard. it's going to be pretty easy to tell when you're <laughs> worth it. So. Well, that's the thing. Like, even, even before this, Maggie was like, Oh man, like I, Lindsay knows me so well. Like there was a lot of like stories that we got from Maggie where she was like, I really need to decide if Lindsay would know this one or not and stuff like that. It's always, it's always a difficult thing when we have friends on uh, either side of the aisle there. But uh, we're gonna get right into it with our first game, which is called What's in Your House? Hey, it's a spin on what's in the box. Uh, our three deceivers will describe a weird item they have inside their house. However, only one of them actually has that item. The other two are making up items that they have in their house. It's up to Lindsay to question them and decide if they actually have the item or not. And at the end of the game, she just has to tell me who has the real item. And you can question all three of them up to my discretion. Audience, okay. you are voting on who actually has the real item by using hashtags in the chat. Hashtag Noel, hashtag Maggie, hashtag Gavin for who you think has the item. So without further ado, uh, we're going to go right down the line and hear a one sentence description of everyone's item. Starting with Noel. Noel, what's in your house? Cool. So I have this really cool ripped in half phone book that I got like maybe like back in like 2001, like from the big show, I threw it to him and he was able to rip it <laughs> in half. One sentence, no, wow, one sentence. <laughs> sorry, sorry. A ripped in half You gotta phone work book. in the big show, I get it, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> listen, well, listen, if Paul White's on the table, we gotta hear about it, all right. Uh, Maggie, what's in your house? Yeah, so um, I got this really awesome item that I wanted uh, when I went to Mexico, because I used to live across the border. <laughs> what, what's that? I'm trying to be too descriptive. <laughs> Just, what is it? What is it? It's it's a paper mache fruit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was a beautiful run on sentence. A paper mache fruit. It. <laughs> uh, Gavin, what is in your house? It was a cold summer in the uh, <laughs> a, a coaster, right? Damn and you. in the coaster is a picture of me. Uh, with twats written on my back. <laughs> <laughs> so there are the three items. Um, oh. Now I, I can I can tell they're rearing to go to tell you about these items. So uh, Lindsay, with that being the case, who do you want to question first? Maggie, of course. Oh, you got to start with Maggie. All right, the, uh, the paper mache mm -hmm. fruit. Uh, so Lindsay, whenever you're ready, go ahead. Why were you in Mexico and why did you take me? Uh, because oh. I was in high school and I used to live across the border okay. before they closed entry. That's fair. 
That's fair. I do know that. Okay. Why did you want to get this fruit? Uh, they're traditionally known as one of the best gifts to get from Mexico. And so I just really wanted to have one in my possession. Okay. What fruit? What kind of fruit is it? It's a pear. Okay. Where Probably is Mexican it in your house? Fruit. Uh, it is currently in my garage because after living here for two years, I still haven't unpacked. Okay. Roughly how many pesos did it cost? Uh, oh, back then. <laughs> Ooh. I know oh, with inflation, it's difficult. <laughs> I know, I know. Like 15 pesos? <laughs> okay. It's pretty oh, good, wow. Johnny. How much time do I have? Uh, you got one more question. You just move on whenever Oh, I one more question. Do. Okay. Uh, ¿Cómo estás? Uh, bien. ¿Y tú? No, así, así. Más o menos. Yeah. All right, that's enough out of you two. That's <laughs> enough out of you two. No more questions. All right, we're done with that. All right. Uh... <laughs> So, uh, I think we're going to say pear. <laughs> um, <laughs> Lindsay, who would you like to go to next? Yeah. Oh, Gavin, of course. All right. Going to Gavin, must be uh, the coaster in question. Uh, yeah. Whenever you're ready, Lindsay, I'll tell you when to move on. Go ahead with the questioning. Absolutely. Gavin, is this a coaster you currently use? Yes. Okay. Is this one of these like self made coasters? It sounds like it. Uh, I didn't make it myself, but it is a indeed a custom coaster. Okay, was this a gift? Yes. From someone who watches our content, perhaps? No, this was a gift from my sister, actually. Oh, from your sister. Okay, so is yeah. uh, in this twat coaster, is this, a, <laughs> is this yeah. Gavin in current time, Gavin, or is this the before RT time, Gavin, twat? Which twat iteration uh, are you? This was post RT. Okay. Okay. Well, not post. I not mean, I'm still twat. there now. Well, yeah. You know, currently running. Okay, cool. Where is yeah. where is said coaster right now? Uh, on my desk. Okay. Has this twat held up any drinks for you recently? <laughs> uh, yeah, for sure. Okay. What what drink? All right, one more. What drink? What, what uh, drink? A cup yes. of tea. Yes. A nice cup of tea. Mm. A mug. God. Gavin, the that image very in my head of, twatty. Sounds very right, of mm. Gavin with a cup of tea mm. on a twat coaster. <laughs> I'll be honest. You didn't Good. ask me any questions that I thought you would. Right. No, but I learned a lot about you. And that's yeah. that's what's important. <laughs> yeah. What what color is the word twat? Uh, right. White. White. All right, there we go. Yeah, I wanted to paint a little That's picture nice. there for you, Lindsay. I figured like uh, and impact then, font. Yeah. <laughs> impact. An impact twat is always the best. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. And then Noel, uh, that leaves Noel with uh, the item. That's Noel, the last. Uh, oh, the phone book. Right. You, you almost phone really book. got into it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Lindsay, the questioning, whenever you're ready, go for it. Yes. Noel, first, remind me who tore that notebook because I forgot or phone book. The big show tore up that. Oh, it was great. Okay, where were you when you met said Big Big Joe who tore the phone book? Big oh no, 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 the Big Show, the wrestler, big the show, Big Show, Big Show. Okay, yeah, gotcha. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm new yeah, to wrestling. Yeah. This is all new no, to me. Okay, good. I only understand you've already lived a bit. Did you say notebook? Because it was a it was a phone book. It was a, a phone book. Yeah, big phone book. Yeah. So, mm. uh, so where was I at? Syracuse, yeah. New York. Okay, were you there for a wrestling like show? I assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I used to live there and they were doing a tour through these like local YMCA gyms. So, yeah. Okay, so this wasn't an official show. This was like a motivational like, I'm gonna come to your YMCA and talk about how you too can be a wrestler. I'll tear this phone book. Well, I okay. threw the phone book at him. And like, you provided I had to, I had, Okay, yeah, I had to scream at him to, to rip it in half. And I didn't think he was gonna do it, but he did it. So okay so where did you have the phone book did you get it from the ymca or did you just like roll up with the phone book you're like today's the show day like he's gonna tear it for me i know it oh yeah yeah i just brought the phone book oh, okay <laughs> just, just had it on hand i know that game all right i, I too put them in my purse <laughs> Lindsay, one final question if you'd like it uh noel can we hang out sometime let's hang out let's do it uh, i'm six okay. six feet apart but you know cool. we'll be safe yeah. but we'll do it ripping big joe <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> big joe 
Listen, there's probably a wrestler named Joe. Big Joe. Listen, there's got to be. I'm, I'm sorry. Bad there's Big a Joe. rapper. All right, so audience, yeah. last chance to uh, change your vote audience if you want to. You can change your vote. <laughs> <laughs> audience, you can change your vote at any point just by using a different hashtag, but spamming the same uh, suggestion is not going to increase your vote. So you just get one vote, but you can change it at any point. Lindsay, um, is there anyone you're just totally not believing? Is there anyone you're leaning towards? What, what are you thinking after that questioning? Well, it's, it's as much as like I don't want to believe that someone would bring a phone book to the YMCA for someone to tear. That's such like a detailed response. Like you had all of the 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 points pinned down. I was like, okay, this is way too intense for me. Like I don't think that someone who's lying about this would go that into detail. So Noel, I think I think you're okay. Maggie, a little weird about the pair. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> like that. <laughs> I don't know many people in Mexico character? who like pears, but I, I don't know. I don't know enough about Mexico to debate this, but it's right. you're on you're on thin ice, ma'am. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Kevin, you are a twat. So I don't you know like that's a solid reasoning across the board. Yeah. <laughs> solid oh, reasoning. Uh, all right. Well, uh audience, we are locking in your vote. You are locked down, you are voted. Um Lindsay. It is time for you to lock someone in. So tell us who has the item in their house. I think a chat is going to go against me here because they're all saying Gavin. And I, I feel like, you know, I feel you here, but Gavin would totally own something like that. That's a very Gavin thing to have. I can believe it. So I'm going to say it's Maggie. I have a Whoa, feeling the that dark Maggie's horse. full of shit. And if I'm wrong, Wait, no, no, no. You're we're not friends actually has it. If you think she's full of shit, oh, 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 oh. you don't want to go with that her. Then. then Maggie's full of shit. Awesome. <laughs> what? Well, with that no, being said, you're going too, with who is awesome. telling the truth. What the? That's incredible. Well, that being said, too, uh, knowing that, I still say Gavin. I know Gavin for sure. Noelle's like, mm, a little so unbelievable. You, so Maggie, you think you're full Gavin, of shit. Gavin, though? I think Gavin has that for sure. Yeah. You think Gavin There's has no that? Gavin All right, you want to lock that in? Final answer? Yeah, I think so. Yes. All right, let's lock in Gavin as having the coaster. Uh, audience, let's see what you thought. Who do you think has the actual item? Gavin as well, 56% mm -hmm. went for Gavin with the twat coaster. Yep. Uh, People just don't believe so, me because I'm a woman. Right. It's very unfair. <laughs> oh, it's very unfair. No. <laughs> I don't know where I fall under this. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on a second. Um, so instead of me revealing who has the item, I'm just going to count down from three and then say reveal. And on that note, everyone will hold up their items. But, you know, only the only one item will show. So revealing in three, two, one, reveal. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> oh, it looks that like a my poster boy. <laughs> That's good. What does that mean? So someone wrote twat like on your back. Yeah, okay. That's awesome. Yeah, my sister wrote it on my back with sunscreen. <laughs> that's oh, that's incredible. real. Oh, I thought yeah. that like the coaster was a picture yeah. of you and it said twat on the coaster. I didn't realize that, no, that was in the photo. <laughs> that was in camera, Jeremy. <laughs> and uh, oh, that's very nice that you kept that. <laughs> you yeah. kept it and used it for tea. Uh, that sibling I, love. I like it. I, I totally believe the other stories too. Uh, but that, you know, so Lindsay, you got a point. Audience, you got a point there. Um, Maggie, that sounds, I mean, do they sell those in Mexico? Paper mache fruits? That's the plot of an episode of King of the Hill. Peggy's looking for a paper mache uh, pear. <laughs> That's so oh, I see. <laughs> Damn. I, I'm sad I didn't catch that. Is that yeah, what she's looking at? Pick up on that. I mean, it takes, she like kidnaps him. It, yes. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Noel, yeah, the thought that you would bring a phone book with you to a YMCA in the hopes that the Big Show would rip it in half. So, <laughs> so I did. I did see the Big Show at a YMCA. There was a phone book, but I was too chicken shit to throw it to him because I feel like <laughs> his bouncers were just gonna whip my ass. So yeah, it was very <laughs> close. It was very close. It's great. Noel is like a no. go getter, though. I can believe that you woke up that morning. You're like, oh yes, today's the day. Let me get my phone book. <laughs> He's gonna rip it. Uh, so yeah, that puts the uh, the deceivers. Uh, the deceivers are at zero. The audience is at one and the contestant is at one. There we go. So deceivers, you are the current chumps, but that can all change around as we move into our second game, which is called Just the Facts.
Mm-hmm. Well, they were quick on the button on that one. I didn't I didn't know if they would be. Uh, in this game, I have one true fact about one of our three deceivers. However, they'll all be defending this fact as if it is their own. Lindsay can then question each person up to my discretion to try to figure out whose fact this really is. Audience, you are doing the exact same thing. You are... Um, Just voting on who has the actual thing using hashtags by using hashtag Noel, hashtag Maggie, or hashtag Gavin. Sound good? All right. Yeah. Sounds good. The book because I'm about to (laughs) really say something here. Uh, I'm just glad you told me the rules like it messed them up. Excellent. (laughs) Good. (laughs) The the true fact about one of our three deceivers is one of our three deceivers once urinated on a woman they just met. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> hashtag Maggie, <laughs> hashtag Noel, hashtag Gavin. Uh, we're going to hear these stories. Uh, Lindsay, who do you want to start with on this? I'll go in reverse. Noel, you're up first. Starting with, okay, uh, Noel. Let's talk about some piss. All right. Lindsay, whenever you're ready, begin your questioning. Where were you when this incident happened? California. Okay. Um, indoors or outdoors? <laughs> uh, outdoors. It was it was right outside of a car. Okay. Who was this woman in relation to you? It was my mom's friend. I think her name was Sheila. Okay. Uh, what were you guys doing prior to the peeing incident? So it was a road trip to California. Okay, and she just like <laughs> desperately needed to pee, pull over, do so your thing. We, now we met her yeah, in good. California. Yeah, so we met her in California, and technically, I didn't like whip it out and pee on her. It was more of a I got pee on her. So, okay, so you go to pee on the side of the road. There's some backsplash. It gets on her in the incident, but how is she in close enough proximity to where this happens? So this is one of those road trips where you have to pee in a Gatorade bottle. And so I peed in oh, several Gatorade bottles. Yeah. Oh. So when we got to California, we're going there for Disneyland. Grab the bottles because we're getting out of the car. She grabs one not knowing the Gatorade is actually my piss. So I try oh. to get it from her, but I run into her and it splashes all over the both of us basically. Got you. Got you. Okay. All Not right. physically peeing on, but you peed and the pee went on her. Pretty much. Here we are. Okay. All um, right. So that is okay. Noelle's okay. story about uh, the pee, pee on the woman. Uh, and are you still going in reverse order here? Is that still your plan, Lindsay? Because hmm? that's going to move indeed. us over to Gavin. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> Gavin, uh, let's hear the incident. Lindsay, go ahead. Gavin, where were you when this happened? Europe. Okay, cool. Indoors (laughs) or outdoors? I was indoors. Okay. I just thought Uh, California was such a funny response to it. It was was good. It It is a place. It set the scene very well. Like, ah, yes, of course. Uh, (laughs) So you were indoors. In Europe, were you at your house? No. Okay. Were you, where were you in that sense? Were you at a friend's house, school? No, I was in a hospital. Hospital, okay, cool. Yeah. So who was the woman that you peed on? Uh, She was a nurse. Okay. Uh, Now, how did your piss end up on her in her procedures? Um, Well, as you may know, my nut once tried to kill itself in a tragic torsion accident. And uh, she was testing the balls, sort of nursing the balls <laughs> with uh, her hand. As a nurse does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's true. But then she did the thing where she, where she was like, you got a cough, and that does, you know, ball stuff occurs. And then some piss came out of my penis onto her hand. Oh, More like okay. her wrist, I would say. Okay. Jeremy, no further questions. Um, yeah, good. You know, I I've agree. Heard upper I agree. Yeah. Um, well, that leaves that leaves that Maggie. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, Lindsay. Whenever you're ready to question Maggie, take it away. 
Maggie, where were you when this incident happened? And were you indoors or outdoors? <laughs> I was Earth. at um, <laughs> oh, a private beach in Delaware. <laughs> Delaware, um, okay. Outdoors. Well, what brings you to Delaware? Uh, my dad's second wife had family that owned property out there. So every summer we would go swim in the Atlantic and do that sort of thing. Okay, believable. So uh, how did the pee come into play? Where were you just relieving yourself or... So I used to have a major phobia of public restrooms and um, mm -hmm. I was probably, you know, preteen. Uh, so didn't want to call any attention to the fact that I really needed to pee. But I just, I forgot the question. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. I got lost in the memory. <laughs> Uh, you said that you have a fear of public restrooms, which I assume oh, is yeah. you needing to pee in a private place in which you yeah. peed on a woman who we have yet to identify. Who was well, that woman? I was at the beach. And so I like none of my family was there because they were at the beach house and there was just this lady and I looked like I was in a lot of pain. So this woman, I still don't know her name, of course, because, you know, I'm 30. Why would I know her name? She was but, an angel. Yeah. I mean, yep. in disguise, but uh, <laughs> she, uh, she was trying. <laughs> she was trying to help me to the bathroom, so she just saw this kid in distress and wanted to help me. And me and my bathing suit weren't enough, apparently. <laughs> oh, so uh, as she was escorting you, the event occurred. It did. Oh. Yeah, sounds she was, like she it. was very nice to help after I peed on her How as did well. Yeah, I was gonna oh. say, how did she respond? Uh, she kind of she supportive? Me up and took us to the ocean. Yeah, she was just like, okay, okay. Let's just wash us to the off. ocean, washed you off naturally. Okay, get out there, get out, get out there, yeah. you. All right, yeah. so uh, there, there okay. were, that's your three stories there, all about um, peeing on women. So uh, we need <laughs> hashtags to decide from the audience to decide. Uh, who this story belongs to? Hashtag Maggie, hashtag Noel, hashtag Gavin. Uh, Lindsay, same questions as before. Off the bat, anyone you don't believe, anyone you're leaning toward, anything like that? Uh, well, right off the bat, Noel, I know California loves to party, but that's a little unbelievable, mostly because it, it, we were in, we were out of the car, then we got in the car, and then there were Gatorade bottles, and I don't know what. <laughs> like, it just kept escalating. He was all over the place. Crazier and, crazier. Right. <laughs> and I was there for the ride. I just don't think it was real. That's fine. That's fair. That's um, fair. That's fair. <laughs> in fact, I want a movie of this. Like, if you could write that screenplay, please. Um, Based on true story. Maggie. Yeah, Maggie, same with you uh do, uh, some of that's believable i think you picked and uh, put in a few facts about yourself that i know are true try and throw me off but i, I don't Ooh. think you pissed on a random angel woman who found you <laughs> and helped you go to the bathroom as a child if I so an I, god is real <laughs> <laughs> uh so once again i'm going to have to say think i think leaning? it's gavin free I think so. All right, well, audience, look, we're going to lock in your answer, audience. You're locked in. And then, Lindsay, is that your final answer? It is my final answer. Yes. Let's lock in Mr. Gavin Free as a, having peed on a woman that he just met. Uh, <laughs> God damn. Um, audience, let's see what you voted. They tally up the numbers here. Oof. Also, Noel, not great, Jeez, dude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> is, that, is that a record low? Is that it's, a record it's down low? there? It's down there. I don't know if that's the record or not. Um, Watch that be the truth. I'll be like, son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, thank Listen. you for pretend. Thank you for hanging with me. Well, allow me to blow your mind by telling you that the person who peed on a woman was actually Gavin Frey. It was Gavin. Oh. <laughs> it had me in the first half. Well done. And well done. You know, it was funny right before <laughs> this started. So yeah, Lindsay, you got it right. Audience, you got it right. Right before this started, I read that fact a, a bit ago, and I was like, oh my god, like. <laughs> I, and even like Christian was like, "Hey, I I kind of want to use this fact because, like, what the fuck? I want like, I want to hear the story." And um, and like right before we started filming, I was like, "I feel like I've heard this before. Like, I feel like I've heard this story." And um, I went looking around online to see if I could find it. And then as I was like watching Gavin tell it on a podcast or something, 
Gab sent an email like, hey, just so you know, I told the story about me peeing on her on a podcast. <laughs> just so you know. Yeah, it, it was, was like, like eight years ago. Thing. Yeah. But then I was kind of banking on like, the chat would definitely know. Then I was banking on, yeah. maybe Lindsay won't remember. But then I realized after that, didn't didn't you edit the podcasts back in the day? <laughs> I did um, bold you to assume I remember any of that. Yeah, I don't. Okay. Um, I didn't <laughs> remember right. that story. The only thing that made me go, I think it's Gavin, is one, like, obviously, I know you had the surgery, so that's a little bit more like, okay, I can directly connect that to fact. Two, I can sympathize because post-pregnancy, if I cough, I'm pissing. So I'm like, dude, yep, I feel you, man. Yeah. <laughs> one little cough yeah. and it's everywhere. It's ridiculous. Well, medical Gavin free, uh, of course, when you cough, ball stuff happens. So I understand, you know, yeah, ball stuff yeah, just that, went down. That I can't say. No. <laughs> yeah, um, now, so that means our current score is two to two to two zero for the deceivers at the moment. But that can still all change. A uh, lot of points are up for grabs in our final game. So uh, it is not over yet. But audience, you're looking pretty good. Lindsay? You have a chance to earn two points. Everyone has a chance to earn two points this round. Uh, and Deceivers, if you tie it up, then, uh, I don't know. We'll see what we're going to do. But we're moving <laughs> on to a game called Pushing the Envelope. So the way this one works is I have three true facts. So one from each Deceiver. I'm going to shuffle them up and then read a fact to each Deceiver. They have to defend that fact as if it is their own as Lindsay questions them for 60 <clears throat> seconds. If it is their own fact, they're just telling the truth and answering the questions truthfully. If it's someone else's fact, they're lying about all the answers to these questions. Uh, audience, you work a little differently in this game, but we'll get to that after the facts are distributed. So let's start with Noel. So here is the true fact about Noel. Noel's mother refused to take him when he was born. Noel's fact, Maggie. Maggie's fact, Maggie had to escape from an erupting volcano. I said escape weird, but escape from yeah. an erupting volcano. And it sounded like it was an online escape. She escaped. Escape. Escape. <laughs> Went to the... Gavin once hit a man with a flaming log. So those are the three facts. Uh, audience, what you're telling us is... Who actually had to escape from an erupting <laughs> volcano? Maggie's claiming that it's her, but do you think it's Maggie? Do you think it's Noel? Do you think it's Gavin? You get two points if you get that one right. So, Lindsay, you only get 60 seconds to question each person. So, deceivers, keep your answers a little short. Um, Lindsay, who do you want to start with? You can start with whoever you want. I would like to start with Maggie Tomini. With Maggie. <gasps> and uh, audience, remember, this That's is right. the fact in question. Escaping from an erupting volcano. Volcano. Lindsay, are you ready? I am. Okay. <laughs> 60 yes, seconds on the clock. Right. <laughs> ready, set, go. Where were you and was it indoors or outdoors? Uh, <laughs> it was indoors and I was in elementary school. Okay. Where were you in elementary school where there'd be a volcano? Have you ever been to a science fair? Oh, correct. Okay, so it wasn't a literal volcano, it was a science fair. Okay, so why was it erupting so violently? Um, so we thought we were clever in putting some chemicals together that were not the best to put together, and everyone kind of got splattered with some stuff that didn't feel good, and we all ran away screaming. Okay, elementary school chemists. I got it. Okay, okay, okay. Did you win the science fair or no? Uh, that wasn't my project, but yes, I did on aerodynamics. Oh. oh, that's excellent. Okay. Now, were there any repercussions for the volcano? Uh, like no, on the other students? Not that I remember. Uh, okay. Everyone just kind of was like, ah, y'all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Elmer. Just cool kid. <laughs> Lindsay, I also, I love how supportive you are. <laughs> When she's like, oh, I, I won for aerodynamics. And you're like, that's, that's wonderful. <laughs> that, that, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> like so there's, uh, there's Maggie's story. Um, Lindsay, who would you like to go to next? Gavin Free. Gavin Free, whose story is once hit a man with a flaming log. Lindsay, you get 60 seconds to question him. Ready? All right. Get set. Go. 
where were you and was it indoors or outdoors? I assume outdoors. It was outdoors on a beach in France. A beach in France. Okay, why was the log on fire? Uh, it was a part of a bonfire. Okay, so being part of a bonfire, you'd probably want to keep it in the bonfire. How did it get out of the rest of the logs? I, I pulled out. Oh, were the, you attacking the... said man? No, no, I pulled it out because the bottom bit wasn't on fire, but it was like, it'd been in there a while, you know, it's hot. So I picked it up and it was like, <laughs> the top, cause the top was on gotcha. fire. So you were swinging it around, having a laugh, just yeah. going nuts and you smacked some dude. Okay. So this well, was an it just accident. came in half, like where it would, where it had burnt, weakened. And then the top flew off and it hit this bloke in the head. Got you. Okay. This okay. bloke. <laughs> Getting hit with a flaming Wait, log. With nature's fault. Oh, yeah. Gosh. <laughs> well, that leaves uh, the true fact from Noel, which is uh, uh, it says, My mother refused to take me when I was born. So, uh, Lindsay, let's get some questions right. about this story. 60 seconds on the clock. Ready, get set, go. Mm -hmm. It was indoors. <laughs> I assume, uh, yeah. Were you at a hospital? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know, yeah, you've been born at home. I don't know. To be fair. Okay, so you're at the hospital. Your mother does not want to take you. Okay. Now, ha is this a sore subject in your family? Or is this something that's like totally cool? Like, ah, we, we laugh about it now. I mean, we laugh about it because my mom's like really superstitious. Okay, she's superstitious. So is that why she didn't want to take you when you were first born? Okay. Can you elaborate yes. on that? Yes, she thought I was basically going to be a witch's vessel. Oh, witch's vessel. Okay, got you. Do you feel like a witch's vessel? I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty chill. I don't really okay. see anything about it. Okay. I like Dave you Matthews want to... fan, maybe. Oh, mm, uh, That's okay. a witch. Well, let's strike one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you want a new mom? I'm available. I love oh, you, Oh, yeah. Sir. Yeah, let's hang out. Let's do it. Let's start over. Let's just start over. Yes. yes. Lindsay and Noel are hanging out, and now Lindsay is his mom. <laughs> the, his mom. The, the episode's taking a real best roller coaster. Best day ever. This is the best day Noel's ever. Noel's like, I was, no, Noel's like five uh, years older than you, Lindsay. I know. I, I was looking at the side of my eye and the clock, like in three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Uh, so, audience, remember, you're still voting on um, who had to escape from an erupting volcano. Is Maggie telling the truth, or is that Gavin? story or is that noelle's story uh lindsay same questions as before how you how you feeling after that about these these people well i feel like i know who's telling the truth and who is not specifically volcano related i mean if i if i can if i may jeremy just go ahead and say mm -hmm. who i think is connected uh, to this story. i mean if you want to get right if you want to get right into it we, we <laughs> always can just lock in the audience and, and hear the answers you know what? Well, yeah, I can dabble a little audience. bit. But... Nah. Audience yeah, I feel, like, I feel like we're saying anything, I'm going to give away who I think it is, but yeah. Right. We don't want to do that. So audience, we're locking you in on your on the volcano story. So Lindsay, here's how this game works. Um, and you can kind of elaborate why you're picking what you are as we go down. We're going to go down mm -hmm. the line, and you just have to tell me if that person is lying or telling the truth. Um, and we're going to start That's with good. Noel. Uh, so the witch's vessel here. Do you think Noel is telling the truth? Do you think Noel is lying? I think Noel is lying. My son is a liar. Believe no one believes me. Oh, mom, please don't. Oh, not, not, now. Part, <laughs> not in front of company. Locking mom. that in, Lindsay? I'm not, yeah, not mad, just disappointed. Locking it in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's lock in Noel as lying. So we got him locked in. Uh, Maggie with uh, running away from a volcano. Lindsay, what do you think here? You're full of shit. You were never near a volcano in your fucking life. There's no way. Although that did sound really cool. <laughs> that no, it does sound very cool. <laughs> that was so like a magic think... school bus episode is what you sold me. <laughs> <laughs> she does seem to pull plots from, from TV shows. So you want to lock in lying? I think so. Yes. All right. Locking in lying. So um, sometimes the third one is just like mathematically you have to go itself with the, you know, either truth or lie. This is not one of those cases. Gavin could be telling the truth. He could be lying. Um, both are still possibilities. So, Lindsay, what do you feel about Gavin? 
it, it sounds like an insane story, but it's Gavin free. And I could totally see this happening, especially with all the shenanigans that you and Jeff get up to. I'm like, I can believe they were on a beach together at some point and they were dicking around and someone pulled up a piece of wood that was on fire and somehow it, it got onto somebody else. I'm amazed no one's dead. <laughs> so yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not? So you think Gav's telling the truth? I think so. All right, let's lock that in. Locking in Gavin as the truth teller. And uh, before we do the full reveal, audience, who had to run away from an erupting volcano? Did you believe Maggie? Did 45% think it's Noel on that one. Only 17% thought it was actually Maggie at it's the- because uh, I'm a woman. I, it's, <laughs> listen, we're gonna break these boundaries. We're gonna fix this, all right? With time, it's gonna take time. Um, Equality is telling my female friend that she's full of shit. <laughs> full of shit. So going, going down the line, I can reveal you thought Noel was lying, and I can reveal that Noel was telling a lie. You were correct about that one. Well done, Lindsay. Well done. We have a liar there. Uh, on to Maggie, who uh, you thought was lying about the elementary school volcano, and I can reveal that Maggie was telling. A lie as well, so you Excellent. were correct there. Yes. As well. So you're definitely getting yes. a point. You're definitely getting a point for that, Lindsay. If you get this next one right, you're getting two points. Um, and that's Gavin Free with the hitting a man, the on fire log. Uh, you thought that he was telling the truth about that, and I can reveal mm -hmm. that Gavin was telling the truth. You got it right, Lindsay. You got all three of them correct. You nailed it. Excellent. A clean sweep. And uh. You know, Maggie and Noel were the ones lying, which means it was foot flopped, which means audience, you did get it right. It was Noel that ran yeah. away from an erupting volcano. So audience, <laughs> you got two points for that, which means we are at a score of four to four to zero. Uh, so at the end of all of that, it means that I think for the first time this season, the deceivers are going to be tonight's show. There it is. Yeah. Deceiver's my ass. <laughs> I right. come on as a deceiver. I've got to tell the truth three times. Bullshit. Yeah, you did, you did tell it. nothing but the truth. Gavin never lied. I <laughs> wanted to never. lie. I was. <laughs> my, no, my question is: All my stories were so ridiculous, but then the one about the ridiculous volcano—they figure it out. Like it was all they ridiculous. They figured it out. They nailed it. <laughs> they nailed it. But and I do definitely want to hear for you is Gavin's from Italy or parts of Italy. So I was like, maybe, but sorry, Noel. At the end Ooh. of the day, Gavin's gonna do something I really dumb with fire. Maggie's so. interpretation though, like that was solid. That, that was solid. Awesome. Awesome. That was. Ooh. That was a great I've never little been twist. Near a volcano. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what Lindsay would have known that so that was a great little twist you put on there um but uh so we definitely want to hear the actual the volcano story uh we want to hear the the refuse the refuse to take you story we're going to hear those in chump change which is our post show you gotta be a first member to watch that um but as for the show right here thank you thank you thank you very much for tuning in everybody uh we will be back next week and if you're watching this live stream right now uh rooster teeth is live every single day right here on RTTV. And uh, so you can constantly see content. And there's gonna be some live stuff a little later on tonight with Jack and keeping the lights on. And uh, it's all about mental health and it's gonna be awesome. So please tune in to watch that in just a few hours. So thanks again, everybody. Gavin, I promise we'll have you on as a deceiver again in the hopes that you lie. Uh, we, we will give it a shot. <laughs> Lindsay, excellently played. I said before this, Lindsay's either gonna get all the points or no points. Uh, so you did the oh, all the points you. one. I'm very well done. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching, everybody. And have a good one. Goodbye, good joke. people. That's our show, everyone. Let us know in the comments who fooled you. And remember, we have a new show every single week. So just go to the site, sign up, and you can play along in the chat with us and get your votes in. Thank you, people. <laughs>